guys so I know I've been posting a lot of videos lately and it's definitely been a very humbling experience because people come out of the woodwork asking me all different type of types of questions and one of the questions I have been asked is whether or not I take anabolic steroids so I think on these videos I do look a little bit more bulkier than what I do in in real life but to answer your question no, I absolutely am not on anabolic steroids, nor have I ever taken anything, nor have I ever dabbled or even questioned whether or not I wanted to because I've always just been a very natural person. And when you ask me my opinion on anabolic steroids, well, years ago, I did have not so good of things to say about people that took anabolic steroids, you know, of course. You've heard it all from, oh, they're just lazy. Oh, they, it's like, why are they spending their money on that? Or, you know, they're, they're taking the easy way out and they just can't work hard. They just don't want to do the work in the gym. They just don't want to do the work in the kitchen. You know, that's how I used to be. But now it's like, again, it goes with the judgment-free zone. Like, if they know what it's going to do to their body and the potential effects and side effects and long-term effects, then let them do it like who who really cares who am i to judge what someone else wants to put in their body it just isn't for me but any of you out there that do take anabolic steroids or have because if you're in the gym world you know at least one person that has dabbled with steroids and again you know medically as we get older a lot of men do need to be prescribed testosterone and that's totally 100 percent fine if it's medically prescribed um, and for people that are taking it non-medically, you know, prescription wise, then again, it's on them. If they are mature enough to make that decision, then they're mature enough to deal with the consequences if something were to happen. So for any of you out there taking, do your thing, do what you got to do. You know, I mean, like that's on you. I'm not judging. It is what it is. But I do want to tell all of you that you can still achieve that lean sculpted, chiseled look naturally and the one thing that I do take supplement wise is called Pertandem. It's an NRF2 activator. So basically this is what it is. It's a little pill that I take every day and I'm going to open it up but there's only five ingredients and it's turmeric, milk thistle, ashwagandha, bokaba, and green tea extract. So probably two out of the three you already take every day and it's such a natural blend it's it has blown my mind with what it has done to my endurance my strength my stamina my sleep in every aspect it has helped me out so much i feel like a completely different person and people have commented they're like your body has changed your arms and you know your glutes and your your abs and everything has changed it's like it's gotten a little bit more defined um, and I have done nothing other than taking the Pertanum. I've been taking it for five months now, and it has made a world of difference. I'm not just saying that. You guys who know me know that I'm not a supplement pusher whatsoever, but this little guy is only $40 a month, and I can think if you go to Starbucks just a couple times a month, there you go. So, Pertandem NRF2, there's an NRF1 that has to do with sleep and energy, but this minimizes oxidative stress by up to 40% in 30 days. So what does that all mean? Basically, it allows your body to perform at its optimal capacity. So if you're trying to lose weight and people say, well, that's not going to help me lose weight. Well, you're wrong because if you're going to take this and it's going to help your body perform at its optimal capacity, it's going to allow you to run harder, run longer, run faster. It's going to help you do your plyos better. It's going to help you do your resistance training better. And you're not going to have as much resting time in between sets. Just overall, whether you're trying to sculpt more or you're trying to gain muscle more, it's going to make you stronger in the gym. You're going to lift heavier and you're not going to have to wait in between sets. So in every aspect, whatever your goal is, fitness-wise, it will help you out. So don't think, oh, well, this is just medically beneficial. No, it's it's as much clinically beneficial as non-clinically. So there's two sides of it, and I so highly suggest this. But four main things that I do tell people, if you want to achieve a lean, sculpted look naturally, and I mean, I'm saying like 
I have noticed difference. My triceps, my biceps, and my abs, and my glutes. Like I don't show my body very often, but guys, this has made such a difference in my life. I am so passionate about it. I need you guys to be aware. So the four things, back to it. Number one, low glycemic nutrition. So I know I post all about the low glycemic nutrition. If you guys still have questions about it, please reach out to me and I can send you all of the information that I have on it. I can call you, explain everything to you because it is so important to live a low glycemic nutritional lifestyle. It's the only maintainable way to achieve and maintain what you are going for fitness wise. Number two, high intensity interval training. When you do your cardio, it doesn't matter if you do five hours a day and you're doing steady state. You need to do a good 30 minute, 20 to 30 minute, all out high intensity interval training. And you should feel like you want to collapse when you are towards the end. And I hate to say that, but you should be working so hard you feel like you can't complete it. That is gonna be so much more beneficial than doing steady state. I mean, hands down, so many reasons for it. Just do it. Number three, Per tandem, one per tandem every single day. Like I said, there's two different per tandems. I take the NRF2 because I don't really need more energy and I don't need help with sleep. But NRF2, there's the NRF1 as well. And then lastly, you need to just keep doing it. You need to be very continuous. You need to maintain, you need to take baby steps. But every single day you need to do it, okay? And it's just, getting to that point where you can teach your body to become a fat burning machine. The only way to do that is to take baby steps. Do your work every single day, little by little. Don't go all out like, oh, I'm going no carbs. I'm going no, you know, meats. I'm doing no this, no that. I'm, I'm working out five hours a day. You're not going to maintain that. So you need to just take baby steps and be continuous with everything. So, if you guys have any questions about anything, please holler, but high intensity interval training, low glycemic nutrition, pro tandem, and take it one day at a time, every day, 